Richard Wilson and welcome to this episode of CEOtraining.com. This episode is called Overtrain Your CEO Brain. And the first point I want to make is that you can't, you can't overtrain your brain. The more you train yourself, the more you'll get back in return. The way that you get better and have more results on the outside is by improving yourself on the inside, improving how your brain operates, cleaning up your brain water like we talked about in one of our past episodes, and really just pushing yourself in a positive direction all of the time. You really can't overspend or overinvest in your own education. One tip in planning your own training is to really think for the long term. Think in three, five, or seven years what your ultimate goal is, your major definite purpose, your top two or three goals, and figure out what skills you would need to get there. Do you need to learn about influence and persuasion? Do you need to learn about how to hire people better? Do you need to learn how to delegate? Do you need to learn how to speak in public? Do you need to learn how to create videos such as this one? Figure out what two or three or five or even ten skills you need to learn, prioritize those, and then dedicate yourself to investing in the training you need to get better at each of those skills. Another tip is that, uh, at least in the United States, and I think in most countries, the money you spend on training is 100% tax write-off. So if you think about it, um, you know, the average investment in the stock market nowadays only gets 8%, 10%, 12% at best over the long term. Typically, it's going to be lower than that after the last recession. If you think about the return you get by investing in yourself, I don't know about you, but myself, oftentimes if I spend $500 or $1,000 to go to a workshop, I often come away with at least one idea that's worth two or $3,000. Well, think about that. Most of the time, I double my money at least by going to a workshop. And that's from one or two ideas of the best ideas. Not any of the connections, not of any you know subconscious impact going through all that training does. Just those one or two ideas. So if you think about that, you compare that to taking money out of your business, paying taxes on it, giving 30%, 50% to the government, and then taking that money and trying to invest it in something like the stock market or in real estate. It's going to take so many more years to regain that 30 or 40% to get even any positive return that oftentimes reinvesting in your training can be a very profitable thing to do. Every dollar you invest might return to you $1.30, $1.50, $2, and best of all, you didn't pay taxes on that to get trained. It's tax a tax-free benefit most of the time. So definitely check with your legal or tax counsel before, uh, before using uh, this advice for your own tax benefit. Uh, definitely talk to an expert in the area. But most of the time, it's a tax write-off. Uh, next is that no matter what happens in the economy, or if you get sued out of business, or if all your partners leave you, or if the economy totally changes, or if your industry ceases to exist, or whatever horrible things you worry about that could lead to you losing your business, you can never lose all the training you've done. If you become excellent at marketing, excellent at copywriting and persuasive writing, excellent at speaking, excellent at creating video content, no one can ever, ever take that away. And if you get really good at running your business and at marketing, that's going to be valuable anywhere in the world. You could have everything stripped from you and you could land in a city like Singapore and find a job within two or three days probably and make a decent living or start your own business again. So just remember that. The more you invest in yourself, the more you have an asset that you can never lose no matter what. Uh, another uh, thing you should always remember is that if you want to be somebody better or do something better, you need to find people who are already doing that thing and then emulate them as much as possible. If you want to be a great public speaker, you need to go to lots of workshops and not only take notes on what they're training you on, but also take notes on how they're speaking. Are they moving around the stage? Are they moving their hands around a lot? Um, are they speaking loud? Are they varying their voice patterns? Are they telling lots of jokes? You know, Are the jokes horrible and corny? Does it work for them? How do they interact with the audience? They have exercises with the audience, etc. If you want to write books, you want to get better at writing books, don't just read books on how to write books, but also look at how good books are written. What are your favorite books and how are those done? So I hope you enjoyed all these tips on how to overtrain your CEO brain. They've definitely helped me in my career. And what I found is that you can't overinvest. No matter how hard you try, you'll always get a great return on your money. And uh, I just think you'll really find that the more you invest in your business and invest in yourself, the more you'll get back over and over again. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.